Welcome to this week's Solana Changelog, where we talk about the changes that happen on Solana week by week. I'm joined today by Jonas, and Jonas is a new developer advocate at Solana Foundation. So let's get started. Uh, so this week, we saw a lot of changes that happened, and the Grizzly Thon is actually still happening. Uh, so that is a global hackathon where you can join, you can build a project, and you can enter into the hackathon to be seen by a ton of people. Uh, there's office hours that happen twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the Grizzly Thon uh, Hackathon Discord channel. And yeah, so if you have questions, if you just want to know about like, hey, I have an idea or I'm running into an error building on Solana, feel free to join us during those office hours and we'll be there to help you out. But yeah, Jonas, what was the proposal of this week? Oh, I found a, a SIMD number 10. SIMD is like protocol level uh, proposals and it's called diet clients. And these diet clients, they, uh, it's a proposal to define a protocol for sampling the validators. So it also like a, a, a client which doesn't run the full node could uh, still figure out if there was an invalid state transition or maybe a double confirm attack. Um, so what do you think about that? Like, how does it, do you know how it works exactly? Or Yeah. So if since it can, it does sampling, I believe it does minority versus majority. So it can do sampling of a, the minority stake of the 33% versus the 66% of stake. Um, and so there, it's not as safe as doing the majority stake, but after a certain amount of confirmations, um, you can, you can pretty much say that the the minority stake is true. There's some math involved. Um, you can read the full proposal to kind of dive into like how that actually works. Um, be it would be really cool to see this happen and come alive on Solana though. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Maybe I run my own diet client then. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fun. Uh, there was one more cool commit that I found this week. Um, it's a funny one. Uh, there was uh, one last uh, way, apparently, how you can create an account that's not uh, rent exempt. And uh, I don't know, somehow uh, it was like a validator uh, identity account, which what I don't know if you know more details about it, but for somehow, if somehow the rent, there was not enough rent in the account. So actually what they ended up doing was uh, burning the rent in it. Yeah. I saw, so there's a feature flag now to burn the rent and disable that ability to create rent paying accounts um, via validator identity accounts. So that's really cool. It was fun to watch that in Discord actually be debugged and then see the solution come alive via commit on GitHub. So there were two other things that I wanted to mention uh, that were not exactly commits, but good to know is that 1.15 was tagged and a release was created off of it. Um, at the time of this recording, I believe there was less than 10, 10% of stake uh, on testnet on 1.15, but that's pretty cool that we're seeing movement onto another version coming out in the future. And at, on that note, uh, there has been a call for like a 10% upgrade to 1.14.15 on mainnet beta right now. So that's really cool to see as well. Um, means that we're finally moving off of 1.13, which is the current version on one mainnet beta. Yeah, it's always nice to see new versions. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is nice to see new versions coming out. Uh, other than that, Jonas, what did you see for the resource of the week? Oh, I found a nice uh, thing at the Hacker House uh, in Turkey. Um, there was a person who uh, used Metafix Fusion to create a farming game. So the nice thing about Metafix Fusion is you can have NFTs which own different other NFTs. And what he built is he, uh, he's planting a seed, uh, then he adds some water to it, and then at some point it evolves into a new NFT, which could be, for example, a tomato plant. And the nice thing, he's going to build a tutorial on that that, um, that we will share soon. So I'm very excited about people uh, discovering new things and then teaching other people about it. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I know that in the past, a lot of people have been doing like custom integrations and custom programs to do this type of thing that Metaplex Fusion now does by default. So it'll be really cool to kind of like see how much more can be created on top of this now that people have a base layer to use. Yeah, there's many options. Uh, there's also uh, raindrops, for example, that way you could probably also build a similar thing. 
All right. Um, thank you uh, very much, everyone, for joining us. And uh, make sure to tune in next week again, where we have uh, another bunch of very interesting commits for you. All right. Awesome. Yeah. See you next week. See you next week. Bye.